Next, I would like to recognize the commitment of Jill Brazel to the arts in Evanston, which can be seen literally all over town. While serving as chair of the Evanston Arts Council, Jill pioneered efforts to establish art under glass, the artwork displays in vacant Evanston storefront windows that brighten our downtown. Jill is constantly offering up her creative services through photography, volunteering for time covering events, or creating graphics for nonprofit organizations across Evanston. She also somehow finds time to serve as a board member for the Evanston Chamber of Commerce. Our lives and streets are made brighter by your innovative ideas and all of the time and energy that you have so generously given. Come on up, Jill. spoke about how the single most important legacy left behind in, by civilization, the one thing that defined the community that they lived in, was their art. I was so inspired by this, I knew that I had to do this. I worked in Evanston in the 90s, moved here in 2001, joined the chamber uh, and opened my studio, and then joined the Arts Council, and now I'm a member of the Northwestern staff. And I can honestly say that I have never felt such a sense of community that's very unique and rare and very much like a second family to me. I want to thank Lois Rowe, Jeff Corey, Jill Silverman, Doug Gaynor, Paul Giddings, the Arts Council, past and present, for all of their hard work and support. I want to thank Dan and Eve and the Chamber for hosting this wonderful event and supporting my photography business throughout the years. A very, very special thank you to Penny Rothheiser. Wave Penny, <laughs> who has been by my side in all of my arts endeavors, is an irreplaceable asset to this arts community and very deserving of this award as well as me. Um, thank you again, Mayor Tisdall, for making me feel like such a part of this community. Yay is an exclamation used to express pleasure, approval, elation. 